measure up to deserve affection to ever be enough for this existence when did it get so hard your heart is beating alive and breathing and there's a my name is helen cutchall and i'm from uh, pennsylvania in the usa and this is my fifth mission trip thing that most stands out for me with this mission trip is is basically uh, little lambs um, I guess their their vision is to become uh, friends with the people and get to know them and and have a relationship rather than just coming here and handing out food and um, so it, it's a good thing then that way you get to know them and they get to know you and it's all about God and not so much about what I get out of it. I guess I could summarize it to say that it has been uh, God fulfilling. I would recommend it mainly because like I said I was so impacted by the people. The people are beautiful and they're loving and um, I guess I love the mission that Little Lambs does in respect to uh, getting to know these people and let them know that we're here because God wants us to be here because uh, we want we love them we're all brothers and sisters in Christ you are essential not accidental and you should be your My name is Hunter Mitchell. I am um, from Cunningham, Pennsylvania, and I, this is my fourth mission trip to Guatemala and my second mission trip to the Little Lambs. I have two favorite things about the trip. My first one was the slip and slide at VBS. It was it was a lot of fun, and I doubt those kids will ever forget it, and I know I won't ever forget it. And my second one was getting to eat the um, authentic food, the little pork balls and the pork um, pork skins. They were really good, and it was the first time in my four years of coming to Guatemala that I've gotten authentic food, so that was cool. One thing that I feel like God's been teaching me is that the materials that I have aren't actually mine, that they were just things that have, God has given me, and that if I, He can take them away if I'm not using them to um, better my relationship with Him or to serve Him. My name is Nick Buckley, I'm from Huntington, Pennsylvania, and I have never been on a mission trip before. I feel like one thing that really stood out to me was the generosity of the people here. Like we came out, we showed up to their houses and they had like no warning about it or anything like that. And they just let us into their houses and welcomed us. And it was, it was a real surprise because I feel like back in the States it wouldn't have been like that. But they just welcomed us right in and let us talk to them and had a long conversation they made us feel welcome even even though we weren't from here and it was just that was really stood out to me Nadine Swan. I'm from Huntington, Pennsylvania, and I have been on a mission trip before. I went to the Philippines about three years ago. I feel that just going down and helping the people and kind of seeing how um, little that they have, but how um, grateful they are for us, and that it's not about us giving to them, it's kind of us working 
uh, the Lord but working through us and letting us to come and do the work that we're doing for them. It's uh, been a really great experience. It's a life changing. Life -changing. Um, just because it kind of teaches you a lot of humility and lets you, it really opens your eyes to the things that we don't really see every day and what a lot of people will never understand and I'll never be able to understand some of the hardships that they have to deal with every day that I am just kind of take for granted back home. I think it's been a great experience and I would definitely recommend not just Guatemala but if you ever get the chance to go on a missions trip to definitely do it because it will change your life and give you a new perspective on um, what the Lord does every day for not only you but for people everywhere and how you can help anyone anywhere whether it be at home or you know in a third world country or wherever you would want to go. Let it soak into your soul. Oh,